All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a tour of our box truck to tiny house conversion. So uh, we, we converted the box truck and finished it completely for about $4,000. And I paid about five for the truck. So this is a $9,000 project you're looking at. We're gonna be traveling in this this summer and living in it for the rest of the year at least. Um, but so a little bit about the truck. It's a 2006 E350. It used to be a U-Haul truck. And um, I, I, I wasn't gonna buy a $5,000 truck, but this one has 80,000 miles on it and it's an 06. So I pretty much had to. Um, super good shape, everything works on it. So um, we picked that up in January for 5,000 and then immediately started to build our house into it. So um, on the last video I did, the time lapse, I got a lot of questions about removing the roll up door here. So um, those doors only open or they only latch from the outside. So if you were to build something inside of there um, and it latched or if somebody latched it from the outside, you would have no way to get out of there other than busting the fan out of the roof or something. <laughs> um, you could pretty much get trapped in there. But also, um, we just didn't really wanna deal with too many hassles. Um, I think that spending $4,000 on this whole project, and a thousand of that is the wood stove, which you'll see in a second. But um, that, you know, that, was, that was a hell of a budget. We, we built this thing as cheap and as fast as we could and it just seemed like more trouble than it was worth to leave the door in there which would also took a foot of living space out from the ceiling down because that door has to roll up into the ceiling right there so it just seemed like uh the obvious thing to do rip it out and just frame a simple straight wall right there so it also gives it the homey feel you know we actually have a door and a window it kind of feels like a house not like a box truck so this little wall was super simple um, we just framed it up insulated it um, that's an 80 dollars window from lowe's a 200 dollars door from lowe's this is the cheapest siding they sell um, it's t111 siding we just sealed and stained it and um yeah so um, that's the front of it or the back of it depending on how you're looking at it But um, yeah, let's go in and see it actually one thing I want to say before I move inside I got a ton of questions on the other video about why we chose a door that swings inward like this and so um, the first most obvious reason is That this door is about this much taller than this lip right here so that's the outside of the truck and so we could recess the wall back another two feet and take away from our living space um, so it would swing outward. But honestly, for everybody who said that we wasted a ton of space having an inward swinging door, I can't imagine if I had an outward swinging door that I would want to clutter my walkway any more than I already have. So that's why we chose an inward swinging door. It was $200, pre-hung, um, super easy to install. That's just the way we did it. So anyway, this is our tiny house. And um, I'll give you guys a tour starting back on this wall and then we'll move our way towards the front of the truck. So behind the door, we have um, a little shoe rack, all of our jackets, coats and whatnot. We hang our keys here as well. And then on this side is our table. This table is also our bed. Me and Tara sleep here. Um, all you have to do is pull these two pins out. This leg comes off. And then it's got two pins over here by the wall that hold it up right there. You remove all that and you can place this board. It's got these little pieces right here that fit perfectly into these little grooves. And so um, everything under that is storage. I've got like tools over here, our battery systems over there in the corner. There's like um, these sleeping bags and stuff normally go right under there. But on this side, we've got our clothes. I think the kids have some school stuff over here. Tara homeschools them. So um, yeah, so that's the table slash bed combo. Right above it is the cabinets we installed. Um, they were 60 bucks a pop, so there's three of them. That's 180 bucks in cabinets. Not too bad. So, um, yeah, I had to put my guitar somewhere. 
got to have a guitar when you're road tripping. So hung that over the window right there. And um, yeah, so over here, this is our firewood for our Cubic Mini wood stove. And this, this whole setup, the stainless steel pipes, um, just everything here was like the most expensive part of the whole truck. I think we've got over 900 bucks in our wood stove system alone. So, um, I mean, it was <laughs> totally worth it though. I would rather have heat than anything else I could have done. A lot of people ask, why didn't you add more windows? Okay, we're on a super tight budget. So we're gonna stay warm um, as opposed to, I don't know, having more windows, I guess. But um, anyway, that's the wood stove. And this is Marley, that's where he sleeps. Malls. And um, yeah, so I'll take you over here to the kitchen. Wow. So we do a lot of cooking on the wood stove right there. Um, but we also have a propane stove, which I'll pull up here. We don't use it inside. Um, we'll cook outside with that, but there's our propane stove. Our sink was like $5. Actually, let me, let me go back and say, I paid $50 for these cabinets on Craigslist and the lady who sold them to me knew somebody who was giving away like three free countertops. So I got to pick this white countertop. And so for 50 bucks, I got this whole kitchen set up. And then to uh, make a sink, I just drilled some holes in a bucket. I cut out a hole for that bucket. And then on a shelf in here is uh, another bucket that does not have holes. So that's our sink. This is our water supply right here. And I've got this little hose I'm gonna attach up here with a hose clamp, and that will make that a little less splashy. But yeah, so we put a shelf above the counter there, have a little more space. Um, yeah, and in these cabinets, we've got like bowls and plates and some more food. There's food under here. Got our little trash bag set up behind the door. Um, like toothbrushes, all sorts of stuff, dog food, whatever. And then um, over here is our shower stall. So this is called a, um, let's see, Durastall shower, standalone shower kit. And it was like $160 on Ace Hardware on their website. Um, and I mean, Lowe's sells the same thing for like 300 bucks. So we got a pretty good deal on it. Um, but yeah, it's a little shower stall. We take this jug of water, it has like a little lip in the back that fits perfectly on this. And so it supports the weight on the back there and then we hold the front up with these bungees right here. So um, then we have a, a full shower set up with that jug. So I cut a hole in the floor, it goes fully outside there. And then, um, yeah, these are our pee jugs, <laughs> pee collectors. Um, I attached a funnel. I like did a gnarly job with the super glue and gorilla glue, but yeah, so you just pee into that, collect it, dump it out somewhere in the woods. Um, if you got a poop and we can't find a public bathroom, you use the toilet. Uh, there's an actual toilet seat lid on that five gallon bucket. So we put like a trash bag underneath it. Um, I know it doesn't sound very appealing to most people, but that's just the way we live when we're traveling and whatnot. So um, yeah, that little shower stall allows us to have the privacy to use the restroom no matter where we are. Also take a shower no matter where we are. So that's good. Um, up here is the kids sleeping area. Uh, my son sleeps with his head over here and then my daughter, her head over there. And they, they fit up there well. Um, and underneath their mattress, is where their clothes are stored. It's like a little frame we built there. And yeah, so that's the kids room right there. So I'll, I'll talk about some of the stuff on the ceiling here. For one, this is the cheapest rough cut pine boards I could get. Added a little bit more weight, but I didn't wanna do this five millimeter panel up top. It just would've looked tacky. I mean, these, these dark boards uh, that I stained, um, they really make it feel like cozy in here. So we had a white ceiling in our van that we traveled in last year. And I don't know, something about this dark wood makes it feel cozy. I like it a lot. Um, and then I put these four LED lights 
They're the same ones we had in our van. And um, they're run off of a battery that's down in here. That charges off the alternator when we're driving. And then when we're stopped, we can run our fan and our lights without draining the starting battery. So this is a um, Max Fan Deluxe. It's a four speed fan that uh, just vents out the top there. You can, uh, it's got like a built in rain cover. Some of them you've got to get another cover besides the lid to use them in the rain, but this one you don't. It's totally, totally le legit just like that. Um, also put some lights under there. There's one under there. We've got charging ports right over here for the kids. There's also some on the other side and there's some down in there for when the table's up. Um, what else? Oh, so these walls, that's not drywall. That's five millimeter plywood. Um, that's the thinnest plywood I could buy. I was trying to save on weight. Right behind that is uh, three quarter inch foam board insulation. And then there's the actual wall that came with the truck right behind that. So that's all that is. Um, same with here, there's just three quarter inch insulation under, uh, behind that. And then it's just the metal roof, which is pretty much like this stuff. It's like sheet metal. Um, I bought this just to cover up where I had cut out the wood right here. Um, and then I've got to put like a little collar or something to make that look nice, but it's not a priority. Um, so I'm not going to stress about it. So one of the most common questions I got in the last video was also, um, why we didn't have more windows in here and basically um, we did what we can afford with this whole thing we had to kind of decide what was a priority and um, how we could get on the road and traveling and um, do it for the least amount possible so um, yeah that's all I'm gonna show for now I'll definitely be doing a more thorough tour in the future and we plan on making a lot of videos uh, as we travel which we'll be doing here soon but um, for now that is the tiny house box truck conversion